Uh, but let's jump into the defending Tri-County South champions, and that are, is the California Trojans. Of course, they locked up the championship in that Saturday night matchup against Carmichael's. All the eyes of high school football were on that game, and Jaden Zuzak put on a show. I think he had, what, five touchdowns in that game? Uh, just an absolute display of dominance from Jane Zuzak last year. Damani Stafford, a quarterback, filled in well after the graduation of Cochise Ryan, but it looks like he'll be making his return back um, into the backfield as Hunter Assad transfers in from Brownsville. Uh, just with all the guys coming back in your mind right now, is California a no-doubt undefeated regular season Tri-County and South defending champion team next season? Uh, off right now, no. Now, their non-conference schedule, very easy. They open up with Uniontown, who I stand corrected on my previous statement. Uniontown will be the worst team in the WPIL this year. So that's an easy W. Beth Center's going to be down, another easy W. Then they got Waynesburg. That'll be an easy one. So they should be 3-0 and heading into West Green. But last time, let's not forget that this California Trojan team went into Rogersville they got beat 35 to nothing in an absolute trouncing against West Green. Now, West Green had a running back by the name of Ben Jackson. Don't know if you ever heard of him. He was pretty good. but it, So it's a different situation now, but it's still not going to be an easy game. That's what our game of the week for that week. It's our game of the week for a reason. That's probably going to decide the conference championship game. Um, so I'm not going to say it's going to be an easy road for California. They probably have the easiest road out of all of the top teams we're going to mention here in this preview episode, just because they have arguably the easiest non-conference schedule in the Tri-County South this year with Uniontown, Beth Center, and Waynesburg, who I think combined for, what, one or two wins last year? All three of those teams combined. I mean, heck, Uniontown didn't even play half their games. So uh, their non-conference schedule makes Bentworths look like they're Bentworths playing the AFC North. But, uh, yeah, so California definitely has the best chance of all of the teams right now just previewing, looking at their schedule. Uh, I am going to disagree with you <laughs> because, you know, we talk a lot about Ben Jackson, but, like, West Green doesn't have a Ben Jackson right now. And if you take Ben Jackson out of that game two years ago, I mean, do you really think West Green still wins? Yeah, I do. West Green, California mm. looked awful. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm being serious. I worked that I game. Know. California had 22 yards of total offense. Like, West Green's defense really showed. I mean, yes, Ben Jackson had all the touchdowns. Well, no, there was a defensive one. No, I st- I mean, you take Ben Jackson's touchdowns away and West Green still wins that game 14 nothing. Like, I, mean, I, he- I, I don't dis- – listen, I'm not disagreeing with you at all. I'm just saying, like, no, I still think uh, West Green still wins that game. Yeah, they were the better team that night. California just didn't show up. And, you know, that also played a factor into it. But that's here nor there. I'm talking about this year. Yeah, I don't disagree that West Green doesn't have Ben Jackson. West Green has a very solid unit of returning starters. We didn't see this game last year. And I'm just saying, do I think California is the better team right now? Yeah, absolutely. I do on paper. But you still got to play the game. Absolutely. But, I mean, when you look at, you know, the record last year, 6-0 and perfect season already, and – People kind of forget this team only played one game at home the entire the entire regular season, uh, you know. And you kind of flip that on the, back the other way this season. You look at their schedule; they play Carmichael's at home. They got Beth Center, Uniontown, uh, Maple Town, Avella all at home. Uh, that c- could definitely play a factor. I mean, really, when I'm looking at the schedule, like the only game that really gives me a pause that they could possibly get upset is gonna is that West Green game. So we'll see. I mean, you mentioned it. It's the game of the week for a reason. I'm sure there will be a lot of hype around West Green, you know, returning champions coming back to your place. That's going to be a, a very, very, very hyped-up game for both teams. Uh, but when you're looking into the personnel now, I just mentioned Hunter Assad transferring over from Brownsville. He should plug in right away at quarterback. And when you look at, you know, past year's quarterbacks for California, Coach Ryan, not the strongest arm. Uh, 
what, what was he a running back the year before he became the quarterback of that team? Uh, you know, Damani Stafford, same situation. Uh, is Hunter Assad finally that perfect system quarterback that Ed Woods can mold and work around? And now he has all the horses where he can basically pull any play out of the playbook and run it to perfection, basically. Yeah, he's the best quarterback that they've had in the last couple of years. Not that they haven't had any great ones and not no disrespect to Damani Stafford, but Hunter is just that much better of a player at quarterback than Damani is. And they've had some really good ones back when I played, but they ran a whole different offense. They ran the triple option offense, so the quarterback's role was very different than obviously they're going to have for Assad. And yes, it's, that's going to be one of the bigger transfers, specifically in single A this year for sure. Yeah, and that's that's something that you know we've talked about how much of a wizard is Ed Woods is, is as as far as like play calling and you know coaching up a team and that's something I'm definitely interested to see him uh, work a player I'm interested to see him work with. Uh, but as far as Damani Stafford moving back into the backfield, uh, Jaden Zuzak graduates. He's going to be the main rusher once again. Um, are we going to see some of that same spark that we saw from Jaden Zuzak last year in Damani Stafford this year? Is he going to be kind of that same offensive presence that we saw? Um, no, I don't think he will have to be like Jaden necessarily had to be. I, I think there'll be a lot of guys around where he doesn't necessarily have to have all the weight on his shoulders. Not that Jaden had all the weight on his shoulders last year. But, you know, it's good to be diverse, especially on the football field. You know, if you have other weapons, use them. You know, I've seen a lot of seven-on-seven seven drills where Ethan Fike, who we know him for being a stud linebacker, has really came up big in the passing game for him. So look for that uh, to be an option for California. Look for Damani to be uh, catching a lot of passes out of the backfield and even option runs with... Uh, you know, Hunter and Damani running out of the backfield at you, and you defensive end has to make a decision. Do I go after Damani or do I go after Hunter? And that option's going to be killer. But, you know, Ed Woods, he knows what he's doing. He's uh, he's a Hall of Fame coach in my books. Even though he's never won a district championship, I would have to get, say he's, he would get my vote if I was a voter. So, um, you know, he knows what he's doing, and he's in the position he is for a reason. For sure. Uh and, you know, just to recap it all, um, at once here, California, you know, played a very difficult game against Shenango in the playoffs last year, ended up losing that game. Uh, but are we ready? I mean, we win the conference or not, this is, team is definitely a playoff team, and it's probably definitely one or two um, in the conference rankings. Uh, do you see this team maybe being that type of team where you can see them taking the ne next step in November, maybe making it to a Whipple championship if, if they uh, so do so? Yeah, I think this team definitely has the potential to make a run for a WPI championship uh, and play at Heinz Field or wherever they're going to throw um, the championships at. I know Heinz Field has um, offered to host the WPI championships, but I know they're only going to have a certain number there, so I don't know where that will throw a single way. But anyway, yes, I think that California will definitely um, – be a top two team in this conference. I think they will definitely win at least one playoff game. And yes, I think they're definitely a contender for the WPIL championship. Now they got to make sure, or they got to figure out if they take that next step, if they are uh, up there with the Jeanettes, are they up there with the Clarettons? Are they up there with the Rochesters? That's to be determined. Yeah, I think there's a very good chance, even if they make playoffs as that two seed, if, uh, that they end up winning uh, at least a playoff game, you know, just with the extended playoff format and everything. Uh, 